Okay, so today I am going to make some sugar cookies. I'm going to attempt to. I've never made sugar cookies. The only thing I have made is the uh, chocolate chip cookies. So I'm going to try to make them. But I want to make them like the shapes and stuff. So that's why I had got these like cookie cutters back at the beginning of December. So I have a little snowflake. I have a little stocking. Little Christmas tree. And then the gingerbread man so i'm gonna attempt to like i said i've never made them i'm gonna try to make the ones that hold their shape like these with the cute little icing on top so let's just see how that goes okay so first i'm gonna start off by doing the two and one fourth cup of flour so i'm gonna use these right here so it's gonna be two cups and one fourth of flour Half a teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon salt so it was half a teaspoon of baking powder and then one fourth a teaspoon of salt okay so next we're going to do the butter and the sugar so it's going to be three fourths cup butter so i just cut this one in half it's kind of slanted actually but it should be okay and then it's also gonna be three fourths cup of sugar it's just regular granulated sugar and i'm gonna just mix it together next it's gonna be one egg okay so after the egg it's gonna be two teaspoons of vanilla extract be on high until combined Okay, so now I'm done with the wet ingredients. That's what that looks like. Now I'm gonna just put the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and then, oh, the could just woke up. <laughs> he was asleep, that's why I had started baking. But, um, so I'm gonna just do that real quick. Okay, so I finished mixing them and it says to divide it into two uh, separate or equal parts. And then it says, to on parchment paper lightly flour it along with the rolling pin to lightly flour it. I have my helper here who's going to have make the best sugar cookies. Will that kissy puppy? No, he's not really gonna help me yet, but um so I'm gonna go ahead and just put these two equal parts on each of the um because I have two parchment papers and I'm gonna roll them out and then after that just to refrigerate for about two hours. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now I have both of them done. I have this one and I have this one over here. I'm gonna just place one on top of the other and then I'm gonna cover it with a saran wrap or a plastic wrap and then refrigerate them. So I'll go ahead and start making, cutting out the shapes in about one to two hours. So we have both of them in there. One, two. When you're making that, I made these delicious tacos. So we still had some leftover meat, so we're eating some um, tacos. I'm eating a quesadilla. That's what I asked for over there. So we're gonna take a little break so we can enjoy our food. Okay, so I just put the baby to sleep. I'm gonna make the rest of the sugar cookies. I just put the oven to preheat. And I'm also going to make the icing because I didn't have everything I needed. I looked up a recipe that requires meringue powder. And it was so hard to find this at a regular grocery store. So I finally got this. So I'm going to go ahead and make the icing. So that I can frost the ones that I've made so far. Okay, so this is all I'm going to use for the icing. The powdered sugar, the meringue powder. And then I just have water in a cup. And then it's going to be four cups of the uh, powdered sugar. And then it has to be sifted, so I'm going to just use this. And then four tablespoons of the meringue powder. Or I'll double check that. Might be two. And then um, ten tablespoons of room temperature water. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. And then it says just to mix it with this hand mixer. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's what four cups of sugar looks like and it's been sifted through the colander 
And now I'm going to add the meringue powder. So it's actually only three tablespoons of meringue powder. Okay, now I added the meringue powder. It's a slightly like, it's a little bit off white. And now I'm going to just add the water. So it says to do about 10 tablespoons of water. So, okay, so I just mixed it in. This is what it looks like. I think this is the consistency it's supposed to be. So I'm not going to add anything else or any more water. And then I'm just going to put it into a little baggie so I can start decorating. So these are the ones that I've made so far. This one is the first batch of cookies. That's why it's a little bit brown. I started to take them out a little bit sooner so that they don't get as brown or as hard. These are what some of them look like. I still have more frosting in there. I just need a color or yeah, dye it so that I can do like the little trees green. And then I don't know what other color, maybe like red or something. And then I have the other ones in here that are cooking up. So I tried this one to do a bigger batch. I was doing them in sixes, but let's see how they come out.